Hello and welcome to Kids Church. Uh, let's open up in prayer and then we'll get started. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for the fun stuff we got to do today. Thank you for our families and our nice warm homes. God, I pray that you would help us to learn from your word. Help us to strive after you, to listen and to grow closer uh, to you. Lift these things up in your precious and holy name. Amen. So today I was thinking about a particular Bible verse because of something that happened to me. It uh, kind of happened in two different ways, but I'll start with what happened today because it is a cuter story than the other one. So I was sitting on the couch watching TV uh, after church because I was tired and I wanted to just get some rest to just chill out. And one of the cats crawled up on my lap and he took a nap. And while he was crawling up on my lap, I didn't want to do anything else. I didn't want to edit the videos. I didn't want to record this video. I didn't want to go get ice cream. I didn't want to go to the bathroom. I didn't want to do anything because the cat was sleeping on my lap. And I was like, I cannot disturb the cat. I can't. He's taking a nap. He's cozy. He's chilling. He's my snuggle buddy. And I'm not going to disturb him. And similarly, I w I've, I've done some hunting recently. I haven't gotten anything. But I've been out hunting. And hunting is a lot of sitting and waiting and listening, sitting and waiting and listening. And it reminds me about something that I feel like we don't talk about a whole lot, and that is listening for God. See, we don't usually hear God talk to us in a big loud voice from the sky like you might have heard about in the Bible, because God doesn't necessarily move that way anymore because he gives every single one of us, if we believe in him, the Holy Spirit, so he doesn't have to talk from the sky. But we can see God moving in our lives in all kinds of different ways. And in those moments where we have the opportunity, it's important to be still, like I uh, was being still for Nigel, or like I was being still to not scare away the deer, and listen for the Lord, and to pay attention to the way that he's acting in our lives. See, it reminded me of this Bible verse. It's a pretty famous one. It's Psalm 4610. Uh, this translation might read a little bit differently from the one you've got, but my Bible says, Cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in all the earth. A lot of translations say be still instead of cease striving. Striving is when you're like chasing after something, when you're working really hard for something. God's saying slow down, chill out, rest but rest in knowing that I am God. And so I want to encourage you guys this week to pay attention to what God is doing in your life and to be still, to know that he is God, to listen for him, and to see the things that he is actively doing in your life because God is still active and moving and doing stuff today. But you got to pay attention to see him. I hope you like this lesson, and I hope you have a blessed day.